Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A little while ago I had the pleasure of scoring Invisible Manners, an animated short commissioned by Neiman Pick UK to raise awareness of invisible illnesses. If you want to check out the charity and their work I will of course put links in all of the relevant places, but in this video I'd like to have a look through the score and talk a little bit about the compositional process. But first, let's take a look at the score as a whole. As with all film scores, this one began as a conversation with the director. John and I met for a coffee, watched through the film, and began to outline what the score needed to do. Instrumentation, tone, style, and what was achievable given the time and the budget allotted. This conversation resulted in a hybrid score, orchestral and electronic, with the electronics representing the illness. All of the electronics on this score were done with my modular synthesizer, in particular the Macro Oscillator by Martin Jan Kohler. In the film, the illness is represented as this black goo seeping out of the main character, and I wanted to give it a sort of growl, an almost vocal quality, and the Macro Oscillator has a synthesis engine that's perfectly suited to that. And with a little filtering to bring it in and out, it bleeds into the music like the goo bleeds onto the screen. More traditional basses. Sequences. and lead sounds. Mm -hmm. 
round out the electronic portion of this score. During my conversation with the director, the word that was thrown around the most was pastoral. Uh, a chunk of this film takes place in a park, and with images like these, it's not hard to see how that word can apply. Now, when I hear the word pastoral, I immediately think of Vaughan Williams. Uh, if you're not up on classical music, Ralph Vaughan Williams was a composer of symphonies, operas, ballets, and even film scores active in the early 20th century. Uh, his fifth is my favourite symphony, so much of the orchestral part of this score is inspired by that, uh, especially this little motif. Finally, I wanted to include a peaceful theme after the tension of our film's climax, as the main character has a moment of self-acceptance and clarity. You hear this theme twice in the film, once with electronics and once with just piano to close out the film. throw in some Lord of the Ringsian arrangement to match Billy Boyd's narration, and we have our film score. If you want to check out the film in full, I will of course put links in all of the usual spots. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like, a comment, and considering subscribing to the channel. If you're looking for a score for your own project, you can reach me via social media or via email. All will be listed in the description. As always, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.